Hey, what's up guys? It's Jepchon Mutai. It's 2022. Happy New Year. Hope you are having a great time wherever you are. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. To kickstart the new year 2022, I'll be looking back at some of the highlights of my past year. In this video, I'll look at 8 Kenyan websites and apps that topped my list in the year 2021. Stay tuned. Hi, 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 hi. This is Tiptian Mutai, freelance and business. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share tips and expert advice on freelance and business. This is based on more than 8 years of experience freelancing online and running a small video production company in Nairobi, Kenya. I hope the information I'm going to share with you on this video will be of value to you. If you are here for the first time, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now let's get into today's video. Looking for professional screencast video production services? Request a free quote on www.techtubestudio.com Online service delivery is proving to be efficient and convenient in Kenya today. Two years ago, you could not get an email reply from many of the government institutions if you contacted them from their website's contacts page. That is still the case today in some of them. I used and reviewed some of the Kenyan websites in 2021, which include government, parastatals, and banks. Based on my experience, all of them got a good rating when it came to resolving issues related to their services. On this video, I'll highlight some of the top sites and mobile applications which many Kenyans use on their daily basis. Almost all of the services that I'm going to review on this video saved me a great deal in 2021. I love this app for what it does. Let me start with its ability to allow users to transact globally. Some of the clients I worked with in 2021 resided in different parts of the world and paid me using PayPal. Being able to receive payments from PayPal in minutes to my M-Pesa with good exchange rate is a good deal for me. Inside the app, you can see the link to either top up PayPal or withdraw money from PayPal. The process is as easy as paying a bill. Also, you will receive your money within few minutes. The second beautiful thing I love about M-Pesa app is being able to tag expenses each time you spend. For example, when you pay for shopping, you can tag the expense as shopping. At the end of every month, you'll be able to see how much money you spent on shopping. This really helps in managing expenses and being accountable. The third feature I have been using and love in M-Pesa app is the mini apps. The mini apps within the M-Pesa app is quite convenient to those using the application. For example, with, with mini apps, I'm able to book a flight, train, buy electricity tokens, and pay for insurance, etc. etc. If you are someone who is looking for ways to save money and time, then you will enjoy using M-Pesa app for the convenience that it brings. KRA at iTax portal is another very convenient website for me that I used in filing my monthly tax returns. I visited the iTax portal a lot in 2021 to file returns, request for waiver, update my personal information and more. The portal really saved me time and money. You don't have to pay someone to help you file returns if you have little transactions every month. It's easy to file returns once you learn how to do it. One can use the iTax portal to file returns, generate payment receipts, clear all penalties associated with their PIN, and more. Also, I used the portal to request for a tax compliance certificate, TCC. For more information on the tasks that you can accomplish on the KRA iTax portal, here is a blog post that I wrote on 10 things that you can do there. 
this is a site i like when it comes to registering and managing my business on the brs portal i was able to update my registered business contact information directly on the portal also i was able to update the beneficiaries of my company as per the companies act 2015 at the comfort of your home you can apply and pay for business registration on the brs portal today This is the site for requesting company closure or strike off. Towards the end of 2021, I initiated the process of striking off Trendline Network Limited here. You can access the portal on the address www.ag.ecitizen.go.ke. When you make an application strike of your company, it will take up to five days to be reviewed. It will either be approved or rejected. You can find useful resources related to law on Kenya Law website. I found this site last year when looking for the weekly Kenya Gazette publication. The Gazette is free to download on the site. After my application for company strike off was approved, I was advised to regularly check the weekly Kenyan Gazette for the first publication in the first month and the last publication after 90 days. NHIF self-care portal was very helpful to me also in 2021 after many years of not paying for my medical insurance. In 2021, I was able to finally update my personal data via the NHIF self-care portal. Also, I was able to change the outpatient hospital via the portal. It's easy and secure to use NHIF online services besides being able to do everything at home. I did a review of the Artis Arthur portal in 2021 and published it here. During the review, I tried different things on the site and I was contented with the portal speed and ease of use. On Artis Arthur, you can search and transfer property, order a plan and order a title of any property within Nairobi County. They say they aim to expand the service to contain land information from all other counties in Kenya. I signed up for online banking with Diamond Trust Bank, DTP, KCB Bank and I&M Bank owing to the fact that I have an account with the bank. My experience with their online banking services was satisfying. I was very happy with each one of them. The first thing is the impress two-factor authentication, which is a good practice when it comes to safety online. With the introduction of online banking in Kenya, customers now have an additional option of transacting money from their bank accounts when other options fail or are not available. From transacting over the bank counter using mobile short codes, debit and credit cards, and bank mobile applications, one is not limited on how they can transact their money. In conclusion, technology is proving to be effective in many sectors of the economy in Kenya. Being able to access many of the services online anywhere across Kenya is a good thing. This is the way to go for many small and big companies or businesses and that is it from me on the top sites and apps i used most in 2021 which site or app topped your list in the past year share your thoughts in the comment section below here until next time bye bye and take care my name is jeption utai follow me on twitter at jeptioni looking for professional screencast video production services Request a free quote on www.techjobstudio.com.